Before I get semi-naked on screen, I usually probably do some vanity pumps, which would consist of 20 press-ups. <laughs> Hello, I'm Russell Toby, and today I am playing Finish the Sentence with the Sunday Time Style. Let's go. My full name is Russell George Toby. I would describe myself in these three words. Cheeky, passionate, charming. The best movie of all time, for me, Dead Poets Society that starred Robin Williams because that was the movie that made me realise I wanted to be an actor. And second would be The Goonies. Everyone should watch my new show, The Sister, because it is scary AF and it's going to really... What's the matter? What are you wondering for? You're scared already? It's a really brilliant thriller. My favourite accent is Welsh. Don't know why, I just like the fact that it goes up and down so much and it's so sing-songy. I find Welsh accent very appealing. I like it a lot. Doesn't sound great. <laughs> Don't put that in. The Instagram page we should all follow is the Talk Art podcast page, which is my art podcast, which I do with my uh, one of my best mates, Robert Diamond, where we talk to leading figures of culture about art. My favourite thing to cook is anything egg-based. Scrambled egg, your omelettes, your poached eggs. My shower song would be Frank Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. I relax by giving uh, the dogs a big cuddle. Uh, they are very relaxing and I love spending time with them. My three dinner party guests, dead or alive, would be Robin Williams, the late Robin Williams, who's someone that always made me want to be an actor. There's an artist called David Rebilliard and probably my mum because she would love it because she asks all the questions and she's not uh, afraid to delve in deep with people and I think she'd be very entertaining. I said yes to my new show, The Sister, because when I read the role of Nathan, I knew straight away that I had to play him. I felt deeply sympathetic and sad for his plight and I wanted to humanise him and tell his story. My life motto is never apologise for enthusiasm. That's something that I've stuck with and I live by. 